Hello dear students. We are going to begin with our very first chapter that is evolution of computer. In the 20th century electricity was invented. So computers began using electric power. This led to the rapid development of computer. Computers in the form of desktop computers, laptops and tablets have become such an important part of our life that it is difficult to remember a time when they did not exist. Man used his fingers and toes to count things. For quantities greater than 10, natural items like pebbles, seashells and twigs were used. The abacus is probably the first counting device. It was invented about 500 BC. It was the first mechanical device for calculations which could also perform arithmetical calculations. The word abacus is derived from the Greek word abax meaning calculating board or calculating table. Calculating on abacus can be done by sliding the beads across the rods. Abacus is divided into two parts. The upper part is known as heaven and the lower part is known as earth. It consists of beads or discs that can be moved up and down on a series of sticks or strings within a rectangular wooden frame. It is based on the concept of place value. Napier's Bone Napier's Bone were invented by John Napier a Scottish mathematician and scientist in 1616. It had to do multiplication and division. There are nine different bones or strips with numbers on them. Using the multiplication tables embedded in the rods, multiplication can be reduced to addition operations and division to subtractions. Coming up next, we have the Pascaline. Pascaline was the first mechanical calculator or adding machine. The machine had a series of interlocking cogs or wheels. It could only do addition and subtraction. The numbers were entered by manipulating its dials. Blaise Pascal was a French scientist who designed this in the year 1642. Next we have the Leibniz machine which was invented by Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz. He was a German philosopher who designed the machine called the Step Reckoner in the year 1671. This machine could multiply, divide and work out square roots. It could store data by using a register or a memory store for the first time. In 1801, the Frenchman Joseph Mary Jacquard invented a power loom which used punch cards. The loom could base its weaving upon a pattern which was automatically read from punched wooden cards held together in a row by a rope. This also helped in using the patterns again and again. 
Next we have the two different designs designed by Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage is known as the father of the modern computers. He was an English polymath, a mathematician, philosopher, inventor and mechanical engineer. He designed the difference engine in the year 1822. It was a calculating machine which used only arithmetic operations. The analytical engine was designed in the year 1832. It was the first general purpose automatic mechanical digital computer. Next we have the tabulating machine. This was designed by Herman Hollerith, an American who built the first practical calculating machine called a tabulator. It was invented to help process data for the US Census in the year 1890. A few years later in the year 1924 his company went on to become International Business Machines, that is the IBM. I hope you all are now clear with all the inventions and you are aware of all their inventors too. Now, what do you understand by the term evolution? We are going to understand this term with the help of an example. In this picture, you can clearly see the different stages in the life of a woman. A baby grows old to become a woman with the passing time. So we can say that evolution is the sequence of gradual changes in the generations. Similarly, the modern day computer also evolved slowly. Let us learn how we got the computer that we use today. Evolution of computer. The modern day is the result of changes that took place over a period of time. These changes can be studied in the form of five generations of computer. The first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and fifth generation. With each passing generation, the computers evolved itself. 